You look lovely. Thanks for being here. Well, thank you. Now, you know, you have uh, people are so thrilled uh, with uh, your work and the help, your role in that. And then you've got the debt coming out at the same time, and I thought you must have been so busy doing these both. And then I found out today that The Debt was shot a few years ago. Is that right? It's, it's kind of insane. I've made 11 films in four years. Right. And The Debt was made two years ago, and um, my first film I made four years ago with Al Pacino. And it's funny, my poor mother, every time I make a film, I'm like, oh, I'm in a movie with Al Pacino. Or for The Debt, I'm in a movie with Helen Mirren. So she tells all of her friends, and then, um, you know, they don't come out for a long time. <laughs> so has the Al Pacino one come out yet? Not yet. So, uh, so here's the strange thing. You make this movie with Al Pacino and then you tell your friends, I'm in a movie with Al Pacino, yes. and then a couple of years go by and they think you're a liar. I'm a total liar. <laughs> My mom called me up finally and she was like, what are you doing in LA? Because yeah. it's not acting. Yeah. <laughs> what are you up to? Uh, now, you're, you're a very serious uh, actress. You're very well trained, graduate of Juilliard. Is yes, that right? And uh, what's the audition process like for, for, for a school like Juilliard? Yes. I imagine it's very rigorous. Yes. Um, I think I got some special attention, though, because I did a uh, Romeo and Juliet monologue. I did Juliet's Gallop of Pace, which I don't know if a lot of people know. We're but, all right there with you. Right. <laughs> all the Shakespeare fans. Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, the, the, the monologue's about a 14-year-old girl saying, hurry up, son, go away, because then the night will be here, and I'll have sex. I'll be a woman. Yeah. I mean, Shakespeare wrote it a little differently. <laughs> a little. Yeah. I like your version's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the language is super sexual. It's yes. like, come night, come thou black brown night. It's super, like, yes. yeah. right? So I gave it like... That was your monologue that you were going to do. Yes, and I was on the ground, <laughs> like doing the monologue in front of like the Juilliard people. And it was like the scene from Flashdance when you see like, you know, you know they're kind of like tapping their fingers after a while and like bobbing their heads, they're really stuffy people. Mm -hmm. And I finished and I kind of like looked up and they're just, their faces were just shocked by me. Because you really went for it, is that right? Oh, I, I mean, went for it. Like you're like writhing on the ground? I'm writhing, my hands are in the air. I'm like saying, give me my Romeo. I'm re oh, thank you. Your Romeo's up here in the balcony. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally, Romeo is at a talk show. <laughs> That's not how he finds Juliet. <laughs> I went to a taping of Conan and forsook. <laughs> there she was. Now, is this right? When you went to Juilliard, I'm told your grandmother was the one that drove you to Juilliard, and she, she hung out a little bit. She flew me. She flew you there. Yeah, because yeah. New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, she's, she's a wonderful lady, my grandma. She um, has always been the wild one in my family. Your grandmother's the wild one. She's the wild, wild one. And um, when we first got to Juilliard, she's a smoker. And I'm, I don't smoke or anything like that. And you can get kicked out. It's serious stuff for smoking in the dorm. Yeah. We're on the 26th floor, and she doesn't want to go downstairs, but she really wants a cigarette. So she climbed on top of the windowsill. And like the windows don't open all the way because it's the 26th floor. And she's sticking her head like this and trying to smoke quietly. And I'm stuffing towels under the door. And like three minutes in, there's a knock. The RA is like, I smell smoke. So of course, I'm. It's not me, it's my grandma. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which they don't really, well, did she give you, uh, she sounds like uh, you said she's a character mm -hmm. and she's kind of wild. What kind of career advice does she give you? Does she ever give you career advice? Oh, well, yes. Um, you know, it starts with the stuff of like, what are you wearing? You know, all that kind of normal grandma stuff. Does she want you to like put on, you know, like dr dress up, cover yourself up? No, <laughs> no, she wants the opposite. She, my grandma, <laughs> she wants me to show like skin, 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 skin. And in fact, you know, when I've done <laughs> what? My, your my grandmother, grandma. take it all off. <laughs> <laughs> you want to work again? You want to work in this town? You'll take it off, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this woman? Well, she's, um, you know, she had the nickname Motorcycle Mama when I was in elementary school. Wow. All cool. the kids in elementary school saw her and called her Motorcycle Mama. Uh huh. All right. So, yeah, she's always been like, you know, you need to be more sexual, Jessica. Just, what a cool granny. Yeah, she's great.